All right. And I'm live. And I'm live, I think. Saturday Night Live with Rula. <laughs> I am back at it again. Let's see who is in the chat. Just want to say hi to people here. Let's see if I can get this one working. Mm, we have MLC Bricks in the cell in the house. So hey, how's it going? Eli, Eli is in the house. What's going on? And we have a little con countdown happening as well. So here we go. Uh, MLC Bricks. Yeah, two minutes. You know, it started now. So here we go. <laughs> Uh, real ease in the house. I uh, hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing actually. I'm doing all right. Uh, Dolphin boy is in the house. Our our mock builder, Dolphin boy. Uh, we have Hack and Brick is in the house. What's going on? MLC. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? So yeah, live stream. Had a long day. Spent way too much time talking to my family i don't know if i'd be able to even talk <laughs> anymore here on live stream i'll try my best but i spend way too much time talking to my family like way too much uh like my mouth is like not not working anymore <laughs> but let's see let's try this out anyway so what i left off uh for part one i was uh doing really taking my really sweet sweet time uh building this uh, united States cutting tower uh base and the next day, I basically was like, okay, if I'm going to go with this rate, it's going to be like multiple live streams. So I decided to build this part right here. So I finished this uh, the bottom section. So I'll show that really quickly. So that bottom section was finished up. And I wanted to build this, but then I kind of got carried away. So essentially, I almost built the whole coding tower, <laughs> which is this right here, on my own. Um, but I still have some parts left. There's still some things I need to build here. This should be like a not the deck gun but this little like anti-air uh, machine gun and we need to build this section here uh, as well and i guess you can see right here with the little rails so i'm gonna do that right now uh, but i'm gonna so dump some of the rest of this parts here and the idea here is if i have still like if you still want me to keep going today with the live stream i don't know how long it's gonna take it might take me uh you know 20 minutes half an hour whatever uh, maybe hour uh, with this one, but it shouldn't take too long because I don't have that much left. But if you want me to keep going, I can actually build this one as well. So I have this uh, goulash, uh, goulash canoe, uh, which is the field kitchen. So if you really want me to, I'm gonna just leave it here for now, just kind of for for funsies. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we have more time at the end of the at the end of the stream. If you want me to continue, I can build that as well. So kind of that's the idea. Are you going to do a mock contest sometimes? I was thinking about that. Actually, good thing you bring it up, this uh, MLC Bricks. Um, I, I was considering, my consideration was that I don't want to do just mock contest just like that. I, th I was thinking if if I have reached 2,000 subs, which could happen. I'm not sure what exactly like my sub count, but if I get 2,000 subs, I think I might do that. I think instead of just doing some kind of give, like random giveaway, which I was kind of previously doing before, when I reached 1,000 subs, I just did like a uh, random minifig giveaway. Uh, you can check it on my channel. Uh, so instead of just doing a random giveaway, I might as well just do some kind of maybe contest, contest like you said. Uh, and if I do mock contest, and again, I'm not going to be too strict about it. I mean, it probably would be then anything you like if I do uh, that type of thing. And of course, I don't know if I should do some kind of voting on this or is if it's like I decide which one I like the most. And I even know how many people participate. I mean, uh, I don't think I have that many active watchers i mean i have like yeah like a thousand something subscribers but i've been doing youtube for like almost three years now and a lot of people that used to watch me probably don't watch me anymore <laughs> <laughs> sounds a little sad but no that's fine it is what it is but uh, yeah if i get enough people participating i would love to get uh, yeah i would love to do a mock contest and then that way at least it feels like the people did something um, and then I have maybe something to go through, something to look at instead of just go, doing like a random giveaway. So that sounds like a good plan. So I might do that. But if I do it, like I said, I'll probably do it at 2,000 subs. Uh, cappy for this guy. I think I had a separate cappy. Maybe I'll get another cappy for this guy later. Let's see. 
All right, well, then I'm going to hop into the build. Uh, I missed the mock contest uh, for a guy with 700 subs, and he had a lot of entries. Okay, yeah. Uh, again, it depends how many active like watchers I have. Um, like usually if you have a YouTube for like a really long time, a lot of people like not very active and not, you know, like just cause it's up to you, they might sub to you, but they might change some interests and they might not be interested in Lego anymore, just specifically your channel. And even in my channel, I have, you know, I've done multiple things. I used to do a lot of reviews. Now I don't do as many. I do like more live streams. Uh, so I don't know who, whoever watches me, but again, for the people that are active and who watches me, uh, first off, thank you. Second off, yeah, I might do some kind of context. And that, I think personally that's a really good idea and it's something i probably will do then so let's see if i hit 2000 subs uh sometime this year would be nice if not you know whenever that happens because i feel like i need some kind of like a decent occasion i'm gonna do my context uh contest and i will do a giveaway so it would not be just uh, uh my contest and that's it i mean there will be some kind of giveaway from my side as well and last time I did give away, I gave out minifix. And actually, I give out a small uh, Saigon, I don't know, like a Landbro, whatever it's called, like a little taxi thing. Not a taxi thing, the little transport thing. It's, it was white. Uh, so someone won that and the minifix. Actually, same person won both things because, I, I, again, there was not that many. I gave it away. One of them I gave out a live, the minifix for the live stream watchers and then another thing i give out was uh like the wind spinning thing for the wheel and then the same guy won twice so <laughs> uh i don't know if he's here uh he, he usually doesn't come on live streams but um yeah what's his name uh lego everybody's lego here <laughs> lego i can't remember his name right now uh, but yeah but that was that was last year, long time ago. I would make a mock. Yeah, nice and mostly because I appreciate that. So let's do that then. Maybe then when I hit 2,000 subs, I'll do definitely, then I'll do some kind of giveaway in a mock contest then. I think, and I, it, it was already something I was considering before that as well. You're going to do a live stream on the tiger? <laughs> Hell, I man, man, you, you, you're spoiling it for me. <laughs> Spilling those beans. Yeah, of course. Uh, I picked up, uh, it was this ally already mentioned it. I picked up. Um, uh, a brick veteran winter tiger so whenever that and that's going to take a, a while to to get to me and this is definitely something i'm really excited for i'm really excited about that um, uh, build and just having the brick veteran in my collection i'm beyond happy so so yeah yeah this is this is fantastic this is fantastic so the tiger is coming but I think it's a pre-order and release day on that pre-order is end of May. So yeah, so it's not it's gonna be a while. And plus it needs to ship and needs to also make it to here to Estonia. So that's gonna be it's gonna be a while. It's probably gonna be a couple months, if not more, before I even get to see uh, get to see that kit. But yeah, for sure. Really excited about that one. Uh, I did have that Brick Veteran kit before. It was the F18, F18 Super Hornet, uh, but I ended up selling it because it was a it was a lot. Of, it was going for a lot of money, uh, and I, I you know I needed some money, uh, some cash to to buy some more Brick Mania stuff. So sold that one, uh, but then I'm, I am this one. Hopefully this Tiger I will then I will build and definitely want to have it on on my display or something. So yeah, and also even myself, uh, talk about mock contest. Contest, uh, I am considering, and I mentioned a thousand times, but I am really gonna try uh, at least do a small little winter mock. Originally was a attempt. Can you guys hear me? It says my my microphone is unplugged. I don't know why is it. Can you guys hear me? Just checking, hold on. Mic check, mic check. Mic check, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, good. Because uh, my stream yard was giving me some kind of message that your your um, 
microphones unplugged, but I think maybe it's uh, looking at my laptop. I don't know, but I'm just double checking. Thank you guys. Thanks for letting me know. Appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'm still also kind of considering doing a mock, but then I, I kind of moved uh, from my mom, like my my studio, my Lego studio, an official Lego studio, went from my mom's to my place now, and it kind of sucks because uh, because then I actually also work here <laughs> sometimes. So I need I basically have problems with space now, like uh, build space and that kind of stuff. But let's see, we'll figure it out. And then I'll I'll really try to get some kind of mock out. How you guys been? Anything interesting on your end? Something interesting you guys are working on? Some mocks, some kits. You know, you let me know. Also forgot to bring my phone, my other phone, and there is no mu there's no music today. So sorry guys. You will hear nothing. No music, no background, chill kind of vibes. I totally forgot. Yeah, totally forgot to, to bring my other phone. You're gonna hear that SMR clicking of bricks and maybe my my voice. <laughs> how enjoyable that is but uh, this is what you're gonna get today <laughs> all right and we'll see i got the winter german sticker pack nice very nice so i'm, I'm assuming you got the uh, the mini fake pack is that the brickmania pack oh nothing much i'm trying to see if i can fix the rso uh rso uh pack 40 because i feel like it's a little high oh i see I think the pack 40 looks really good. I, I checked out your uh, when you posted it a while back on Instagram. I think it looked really good. So I don't know. I'm thinking now you're just kind of nitpicking your own, your design. Uh, but I think it looked very nice. And I definitely liked the pack 40 design itself. Mm. It came out really nice with those uh, candles, like this, this right here. Such a useful. Um, now element I feel like every single person will be using this as a as a barrel and then I think you use uh, for the pack 40 I think you use this uh, so it look pretty good well can you guys even see what I'm building yeah you can see it okay good uh, I'm waiting for a cool BKM release. What type? I know the next release, at least I've seen from um, some of those Instagram posts from uh, Andrea, Yast11. I think the next one is uh, Yak Panther. That's pretty cool, I think. But uh, that's going to be a bit of an uh, expensive kit. Just the size-wise, it's just uh, it's quite big. And Obrick Mania also released one a while back. I think Andrew Summers design. I think was it. Uh, I was talking to Eli before, and he 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 has one. He has one built from the from the instructions, digital instructions. So I want to see how that was going to come out. But uh, yes, okay. Yeah, stick it back. Cool. Have the stickers on the figures already. Nice man. Nice. Good job. Yeah, I like the for some reason lately, and I mean I've been really into the winter stuff. Uh, it's probably like a phase, <laughs> and then I'll probably switch to something else. Uh, but once I got this winter TMC guys, I was like, I want to get some. I want to, I want to get some winter. Like and then the winter tiger came out. I was like I'm really into this winter kind of setup for the Germans. And and then the mock I was kind of thinking of building. Uh, that you know, hooky hooky always bothers me about is the the Battle of Narva, and then if I do that, that'll be also in the kind of winter setup. So from that sense, yeah, I'm on I'm I'm with you on the winter stuff. But I think BKM also released 
like a basic classic torso for the winter gear. So that's also an option in case, uh, you know, you don't want to get the TMC stuff or the stickers. Yeah, stickers is also really good. Yeah, those candlesticks pieces are live series, exactly. Also, I'm going to wait for the brick soldiers to arrive. How about you? Uh, yeah, so with the brick soldiers, uh, as I mentioned, with the uh, the Tiger One uh, brick, brick veteran kid, I, I'm basically out of money right now. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, and then uh, I do have some stuff I want to pick up from Brick Soldiers. There's some, um, this, this I guess, cappies, right? The head pieces. And actually, I want to get some Soviet stuff. I was thinking about getting some Soviet guns. Car 98, probably. They have Car 98 in the winter camel. They have a, so Brick Soldiers has like this. It's not, they don't make it, but uh, somebody makes it. It's Car 98 winter. So I think that's kind of cool. All right, I feel like I'm missing it. I can't find a piece. What's going on? What's happening? Oh no. Oh no, I can't find it. Oh no, I feel like I'm missing it. Possibly a piece. I'm not sure though. Maybe. Yeah, no, I think I am. And it's like a really basic piece too, nothing crazy. And all my pieces are my mom's place now. All the like the extras. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, so I'll do Brick Soldiers uh, order at some point, but not this month. I think I might do it next month. Just out of money right now. Spend it all. Yeah, but definitely lots of stuff in Brick Soldiers that I'm interested in, but just can't, can't get right now. Yeah, it looks like I'm missing a piece. Um, I don't think it's... At least I don't see it here. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I definitely have extra of those pieces, but not here. Uh, and probably definitely... You know, I'm not going to bother Brick Mania on this. But yeah, I mean, this is like really nothing to look for here. Just, just not here. Yeah. All right. So, well, it is what it is. I don't have it, and I don't have it. Just put it here as what, as what I have. And I'll, I'll again, I'll, I'll find a replacement. This one I'm not gonna bother Brick Mania for. Uh, and it happens. It happens once in a while with the bigger kits. Uh, this is not the first time I have missing piece in Brick Mania stuff. Um, Usually it's not that big of a deal. There's one time I missed. Um, I was I was missing a huge piece uh, for a Blackhawk helicopter. It was like really like a three by two slope uh, brick. And that one I, I went for because I was looking at on, on uh, Bricklink. It was quite, it wasn't expensive, but just with the shipping and all that kind of stuff. I was like, you know, I'm not paying. It's not my, it's not my mistake. I'm not going, I'm not doing Bricklink orders anyways. I was not planning to do Bricklink order anyway. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just message them. And they were nice enough. They actually sent it to me. So it's probably very expensive for them to send one piece, but it is what it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's their mess up. And again, there was no issues. They did, they, they, they did come through with that. They really, they uh, you know, they have a decent customer service. Again, they're trying to give me a hard time a couple of times uh, with other things, other issues I was having with some misaligned, misaligned prints. But overall, uh, BKM customer service is is pretty good. Uh, and you know, they did they try to help me out. So let's get all those prints and flags out. Yeah, but that one piece is very small. I'll, I'll find a replacement for that. Let me check the check the chat really quick. Check on my boys. Oh wow, I'm really falling back. Um, Yalk bricks. Hello, hello. Yeah, it's 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 pretty cool kit. I'm really really enjoying building this, and I think it's gonna look very nice as a display. 
I'll probably like a medium tank. I hope they will release a Flag Panzer. Uh, Flag Panzer for Ostwin. Okay. Flag Panzer. I, ha I have Flag Panzer, right? I mean, this is one of the kits that I, I purchased from German Brick Fan. Flag Panzer. Let me just Google it really quickly. Flag Panzer. Also, I want to see how it looks like. Ah, okay. So the flag is a little different. So it has like this little rectangular thing on top. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's one thing I think Brickmania haven't done yet. So this is a really good idea. I like this idea. Flag Panzer uh, 4 also, this is a good idea. They did some other stuff. They did some like, uh, as part of Wonder Waffle, they did some circular turret thing. I forgot the name of that one. Uh, but yeah, but I don't think they have done the uh, haven't done this this one that you mentioned. That'd be cool. Uh, is that the uh, anti air gun on Panzer Four chassis? Yeah, exactly. Is that a ship? Uh, that's a submarine. So that's a Kobe. That's not what I'm building. This has already been built. I'm building this right here, and this is a diorama of the Koning Tower of a submarine, which is a U boat, a uh, German U ninety six boat. The uh, yeah, anti air uh, four anti gun, yeah, Panzer four based on chassis. Um, yeah, exactly. Also, in the Panzer four chassis with a single flag gun. This, yeah, yeah, so yeah, this one is a uh, yeah, I see this is a single, single flag gun, but it looks kind of funky. Uh, well, okay, yeah, the gun I think is 37 almost went so. Uh, uh, I really like the design of those. Uh, Brickmania has only done Flag Panzer 1. Kubel Blitz, yeah, that's what I was also thinking about, Kubel Blitz. That was part of the like Wonder Waffle series of builds. Uh, yeah, and then Flag Panzer 1, that's the one I have. It's this Panzer 1 chassis, and then you have that uh, Flag, Flag 30, 36, 38. Flag 38. Yeah, flag 38 on top. That's a cool one. I really like that, that kit. I don't have it like near me right now. Again, yeah. everything at my mom's place, all my Legos, all my builds. <laughs> so sad. Uh, no, I'm good. I'll try to. Maybe I'll move them. Maybe I'll move all my stuff here uh, one of those days. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but I do have it. And I really like that uh, flag pants on one build. Really, really cool. Uh, Tiger one three one designer made a really good job with that. A really good job with that. We're doing more candlesticks. Now we have a flag barrel. No. Just kidding. I think this is supposed to be some kind of optics or something. I don't know. On the submarine. We do have this printed compass right here. And we have this printed hatch right here as well. So you can get it in and out from the conning tower. <laughs> All right, what does this go? Okay, this goes in here. All right, cool. And now, so I have this section right here. And it's supposed to go on top. Just like that. Here we go. I was supposed to connect to something here as well. Maybe. Oh, it does. All right. So here we go. So we have a 
I guess like the upper deck. Again, I do miss one piece here. It's like one by one round um, brick, but again, something really easy to replace and I'll, I'll probably get that, get that later. So that's not a really big problem. Now let's continue. I think this uh, anti-air gun that goes here in the back, that's the last thing I'm gonna build. I think, I have double check. Ooh, let's catch up with instructions for AA. Uh, I asked Dan if he uh, if he said it, I asked Dan and he said that's still on his to do list. Oh, okay, cool. So that this is something maybe that's coming in the future. Probably going to be expensive, <laughs> like everything else that Brickmania does. Heck yeah, I want uh, and one Abrams tank, but they probably don't sell it anymore. Uh, Brokazimo has one. I think they still have one, uh, but it is going to be expensive, you know. And considering, like, I know your channel, Yalk Bricks, uh, is going to be expensive because you are, you are mostly like Lego collecting, like focus on Lego. It's more than it's more, it's not like Lego set. It's going to be like five times the price of any kind of Lego set. So just so you know, <laughs> I say like the the, the one that have on, the one that they have right now, Brickizimo, is probably like four hundred bucks, four hundred euros, which is quite a lot. Yeah. Well, Brickizimo, there too uh, from BKM. Yeah. Exactly. I think they have a NATO camo M1 Abrams. There's a one, two. Yeah, exactly. So this two then. Okay. I, I definitely seen one. This one is better than NATO. It's too colorful, in my opinion. Oh, man. Come on, y'all, Bricks. You know in Finland is NATO? What are you saying here? What are you saying, man? <laughs> I'm just messing. Uh, I I personally have the desert one because I have a HETS, this heavy, heavy uh, equipment transport vehicle. I have this truck. Uh, and yeah, it, uh, to me at least, it goes very nicely with the with the tan version. I've been trying to hold off on another brick uh, soldier's order, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't want those side caps to go out of stock. But U boat is coming along nice. Thank you, Eli. Yeah, man. Like, listen, it's up to you, kind of how you feel about uh, brick soldiers. I like them personally, uh, so I definitely would be making more orders from from those guys. Um, it's just a matter of like when, when I have available cash money. Once again, after my uh, tiger pickup. But other than that, yeah, I have really nothing to say bad about brick soldiers. Uh, and that stuff does go out of stock, uh, but it seems like they're pretty good with uh, usually keeping most of like the caps and other kind of things in stock that are uh, like in the demand. But of course, if they have like if they're reselling brick veteran, uh, brick veteran, uh, sorry, tiny veteran, then that stuff, yeah, that just that's gone right away. Uh, so yeah, yeah, up to you, man. And also, like you said. I think you were saying that the shipping was quite taking quite a long time. So yeah, something to consider. <laughs> something you really want to wait for, or you want to place order now, and if you need something for next month, <laughs> this is probably what you're gonna get. All right, uh, Joel is in the house. What's going on, my man? How you doing? Oh yes, I know it's very expensive compared to Lego prices. Yeah, uh, the Abrams. Uh, Jan S. Patton is in the house. Hey, how's it going, man? I don't think I said hi to you before. Uh, there's Abrams camera called Snow uh, Temperate with Open Terrain Pattern. Oh, now I want to Google that. Snow Temperate. Snow Temperate, Snow temperate with Open Terrain. Terrain camo Abrams. Let's see. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. I like that. I like that. Oh, that's nice. I like that camo a lot. Yeah, I think I, I don't think I cannot share this. Or can I share this? I'm not sure. But it's nice. It's like uh, white and uh, and green. Uh, spots of white. I think it looks pretty good. Rule, I have a question. How do you add? How do I add you on Discord, bro? I have a Discord. I have not. I don't know. Last time I've been on Discord was like months ago. Months ago, and I and I created Discord once. Someone told me like, "Hey, why should create Discord?" I created Discord, and yeah, I haven't really. Basically, I haven't really used it at all. 
So I have to look up, like, what is my name on Discord? Because I can't remember what it is. And I don't know. I have, I have to I have to look it up, man. I'm sorry. I just this is something I cannot do. Because and then if I have to look it up, I have to look it up on my phone. And I'm using my phone right now to stream. So man, I'm sorry. I maybe I will prepare better next time for next stream. If I do an stream anytime soon, and I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just uh, yeah. I have really like I just don't go on Discord at all. I know a lot of people do, and it's. Uh, that's how a lot of people communicate, actually, with a lot of, like, those, um, mm, like, companies, designers. Um, but, yeah, I just don't. I'm not very active on Discord. Like, if you want to reach out to me, you better reach out to me on Instagram. Like, that's the best bet. I check my Instagram daily. Uh, people, if someone writes to me, I'll check that. So, if you want to, like, connect with me, um, do Instagram. But maybe I'll come back to Discord and try it again. Let's see. Maybe I'll give it another shot. Uh, and the other problem is, like, I don't use a lot of Discord. Like, I don't talk there a whole lot. Or I don't have, like, a lot of channels that I follow. And uh, it takes space, like, my data space. And a lot of times I, you know, if I want to record a video and I forget to, like, delete other older videos that I, you know, when I made, like, a review or something, I just delete the apps I don't use. And they're usually the first ones to go to make space. I just delete the, the <laughs> Discord. That's the first one. That's like, okay, I'll use that one. Now, now you got to go. Save myself a couple hundred megabytes on this video I'm about to record. So, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll get that app back. And But I do have an account, and I did try to do something with this account. But let's see. I'll keep you posted. Uh, what, what's the future on that thing for me? <laughs> yeah, that's the Discord situation. Yeah, that's the Discord situation. So also the plan is, hopefully, let's see how that works out. I'm trying to make a video on this guy, on this uh, on this U-boat, this Deutschland to U-boat uh, sometime tomorrow, but let's see how do I feel, if I'm super lazy or not. Um, but, you know, if I do it, it's probably going to take me a couple of hours, so it's going to be... Low quality, low effort review. <laughs> Sorry, but you, you get you get the 360 on this thing. I'll do a little 360 during the during the videotaping of that, so it's not going to be super bad. And although my phone is outdated because I have iPhone 11, the camera seems to be still okay <laughs> quality wise. I do think about uh, not spending on Brickmania and then actually save some money and get a new phone. That's that's in the plans. At least was in the plans. So let's see. Did I miss one? Oh man, what am I doing? This. Yeah, this is wrong. Everything is wrong. Oh no. Let's fix that. It's easier to fix this here. Let's get this off. Also had somebody, um, let's catch up with this. 
the, the, the pattern is I see a snow desert with a black line. The pattern I see. Ah, okay. Uh, I mean, I Google something and then it says, um, maybe I Googled the wrong thing. Okay, let's see. I have another, like, some kind of image on Reddit. Uh, snow temp uh, uh, temperate with the trees and scrubs. Snow temperate with open terrain. And, and there's a summer US, Europe. Okay. Yeah, so summer US and Europe, we're done. That looks like a NATO somewhat like a nato and then yeah you're right so the open terrain one it's uh like uh sand white and black yeah you're right i was looking at the trees and scrubs snow uh temperate with the trees and scrubs that's the one i was looking at so sorry yeah my bad that, that's the green and the white and black uh goodbye well, yeah take care y'all bricks thanks for coming by hanging out at least for you know for a little bit of the stream i appreciate that yeah, I want to get my hands on a tiny veteran who doesn't who doesn't those guys sell out super quick I mean, they do have a very nice deal. I don't know why they'll make more. Like, that's the thing. You know, there's a demand. You know, they sell out really super quick. You know, you can make money off that. Like, why don't you make like a ton more of the stuff that people really buy? Like the crusher caps with headphones, for example, like the, the Russian pilotka, which is like the side cap. Like, why don't you make more of that? Like, I buy it. You can put like even more money on it. Like, okay, yeah, it's already expensive. 11 euros or $11 or whatever. Uh, people buying it. People are buying it. So why don't you like money, tiny veteran? <laughs> why don't you like money? Tell me. Tell me. I'm listening. What's your excuse, tiny veteran? Why don't you make more of your stuff, of your plasticky 3D printed stuff, and then we're all going to buy it? Because when we are, you know, we're little sheep. That don't care about money, uh, but care about your stuff. So yeah, but I mean the big thing, the big sell thing, and I know if it's uh, that's what holds it back. They do like really paint those details nicely. So for example, we have this uh, tiny veteran cap right here. I have another one of the Panzer Panzer officer or something. You can tell this is like hand printed. Uh, those tiny little details or i mean they really put a lot of time and work into this stuff like they really do so i can see why is it in high demand because the detail and the quality of the you know that stuff is also very very high so maybe it takes them a lot of time to to get this stuff um built painted 3d printed Whatever, whatever that they're doing there. Or maybe they do it on purpose. Maybe they like keep the demand high, uh, supply low. So it's like, oh, people are always gonna want it. So no matter what they're gonna release, what kind of the stuff, people are still gonna buy it. I don't know. Is it on purpose? That's how they do it. Can they do it on purpose like that? Let's see. What is how many? It is 16. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so I have this one right here. That's going to be a rail. For this thing, let's go ahead and try to bend it, but not too much. Um, and I feel like some companies do that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's intentional or not. It's like they kind of hype up the product, make it. Uh, I mean, Brickmania does it too. Like this one, this is limited edition stuff, right? So, like just right in in, in itself, right there, you have some kind of already uh, just hype in a sense of like, if you don't get it, you're gonna miss on it. Uh, we're gonna make it something really exclusive. So from that point of view, is it in itself somehow already some kind of good marketing strategy? So maybe that's what what they're doing. The tiny veterans. I'm not sure. Just my speculation. I mean, again, Brickmania is doing it. Uh, Brick Veteran is doing it. Like Brick Veteran is a great company. I love them. Uh, but their stuff is very limited. So I feel like it's uh, somehow on purpose, right? 
I'm sure they can make more of it. It's just then they have to somehow keep that exclu exclusivity, keep it exclusive, right? So they can charge that price. Because I mean, if they're gonna just make it like they do some AliExpress, they can make a thousands of those kits. You know, no one's, no one's gonna want it anymore for that money. Um, yeah, I'm serious. I need a crusher cap uh, with the headphones. <laughs> exactly. Who doesn't? I want. Oh, I need some uh, Russian side caps. That's what I need. Some pilotkas. Will, what's going on? Hello, Johns. What minifigs do you have on eBay? I don't know how to search those on eBay. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know uh, what. Yeah, I mean, you can check out his Instagram too if you want. Joshua Diaz. Hi, Ruler. What, what kits are you? What kits are in your wish list? Well, at the moment, uh, how can I say it? Um, I actually been talking to somebody on Instagram. I I made a post on Instagram, and I asked, okay, I'm looking at for SDKFZ 251B. So that's an old Brickmania uh, kit that was released like 2022. So that came out. So this is what I'm pressed right now. So someone reached out to me and said, okay, I have that kit. I have this SDKFZ, exactly the one that you're looking for. The problem is... Sec. Okay, now I'm doing it wrong here. The problem is, is that the people are from the states, and they also have Stuk, uh, Stuk three, uh, Stuk three, uh, Osif B. I think this is also something I missed out on. Break me, I kind of want. But the problem is, for those kids, the shipping is super expensive from the United States. It's super expensive, very expensive, and I didn't realize how expensive that will be. Um, so that's on my wish list, right? I mean, I, and the guy has it. He has Stuk 3, also B, and he has, he actually has, he's, he said he might sell it actually as, as I'm talking right now because he was asking me if I want it. I do want it, but I don't know if I'll pay that much money for it. So at the moment, yeah, those two kits are on my wish list. On my wanted list is STKFZ uh, 251B and then also uh, Stuk, Stuk 3, also B. So let's see if, I don't know if I if I find money for it, maybe I'll do it. But again, I also don't want to overpay in shipping uh, because I'm I'm so used. I've been so spoiled with uh, Brickizimo Brick twelve euro shipping that every, anyone and anyone tells me it's a hundred dollar shipping, I'm I'm like I can't do it. <laughs> it brought hundred dollars for what? For you getting me my package? And I, again, this is not the sellers. Uh, it has nothing to do with the seller, right? This is just what the, uh, for example, the post office, USPS or whatever, they, that's what they charge. Right. So that, that's, th that's that. So let's see, that's my, that's my wonder list at the moment. Again, I'm gaining hopefully the the tiger brick veteran tiger, so I'm excited for that, and really nothing else that I want. Uh, hey, will I haven't been able to put the figures up on eBay yet because they've been pretty busy this weekend. I'm going to put it up soon. Okay, I'll be on mom mommy dad's mom's dad's eBay account. Well, good luck, sell good luck, sell I hope you sell your stuff. Okay, thanks so so much. Maybe sometimes on the other account. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rula, do you have a World War One minifigures? The only World War One minifigure I have is the Stormtrooper. Oh, actually, no, I have also another German. I have World War One uh, German, but I don't have it with me because at all my my parents' place, so I cannot even show that to you, unfortunately. But if you go check out my video on my minifig collection, I think I did it like half a year ago. You can see you can see the minifigs there. You can see the World. War. I have only two minifigs from World War One. I. I was considering. Brickman had like a big release of World War One minifix like a couple years ago, uh, one two one or two years ago. I was considering getting the Turkish guys and Austrian guy. There was like an Austrian infantry dude. He had a custom three D printed helmet, I think. So I was considering getting that guy and then some Turkish guy, I think. But I never did because I'm not a huge collector of World War One. I'm going to be selling kids exclusive. Became Italian World War tanker. Became British tanker body. 
yeah so reach out to ella if you need something you you're interested in reach out to him you can drop your uh insta again ella if you want uh that's is the kcb looking great i actually just ordered this kcb grief kit and built a valentine kit which i paid way too much <laughs> i hear you man uh, both are expensive as it you grief yeah that's the older kit uh that's nice that's a, uh is it a north africa or is it the classic one which one did you get this is it because i know they had a north africa like duck not like a duck like a quack quack duck but like duck as a north africa african core <laughs> dutch dutch african core mm, that's uh dutch uh, that's the duck i'm talking about all right so let's go ahead and get this railing around here as well i hope i'm doing this correctly i don't know let's hope i am I don't know if I should have like bended it a little bit more ahead of time. I feel like maybe I should have done that. Oh well. So it's happening. It's too late now. It's happening. I'm doing it. All right, here we go. I think it's good to pre bend it because then it doesn't want to like mm, push back and resist on you as it is now. So I'm going to do a little bit of that to help out because this is, this is cannot. Uh, yeah, there's a little pressure on them, but this, I mean, it's all right. It's holding. It's fine. It is getting a little bended in the middle too, but yeah, it's fine. Nothing popped just yet. Okay. What about you guys? Do you have any wish lists, uh, kits that are released or haven't released yet? I will. Before you saw uh, saw some of the minifigures you have in your collection, you had the big uh, biggest and coolest minifig collection from Brickmania. <laughs> Thank you. Before you saw some of it, yeah, I didn't sell a whole lot though, so don't worry, don't worry, uh, don't worry, Will. I didn't sell a whole lot. I saw some. I saw like. Um, I saw Tiger. I saw Tiger Crew, right? So if we're talking about this old Brickmania stuff. I saw that because I saw the Tiger itself too. So the the the, the older Brickmania Tiger, I saw that one together with the crew. Then I also saw uh, Miramar um, pack, which was the stop gun for guys. Man, those those guys were going for like three hundred plus euro uh, dollars. Three hundred plus dollars, crazy. I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna sell it. So I sold those like immediately. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sold the F F uh, fourteen I had, so I was like, okay, there's no point. If I sold the F fourteen, I don't need to have those Tom Cruise. Uh, it's the older. I don't know if you're talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, it's like a Miramar old uh, uh, F fourteen pack. So three hundred bucks, someone pay for it. Like, okay, I'm taking that, of course. Um, and I'm also trying to sell my deck crew at the moment. Those on eBay. So the older V one deck crew, all six of them or seven, I can't remember, all different colors. There's like six or seven colors with those guys. Uh, so those I posted. That's the only th actually stuff I sold, honestly. And it might have been just maybe like one more random fig. But other than that, I pretty much have all my figs still intact. Bill looking for it. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar H. Uh, our, our, another mock, mock builder, Oscar H. He built a bunch of, like, he builds, man. You, you're doing good, man. You're building a bunch of stuff for yourself. But I know you mentioned that shipping from US is expensive, but there's a guy on eBay selling some really nice German fix. I got a few, um, I got a few, but a nice heads up. Yeah. And I don't know about the fix because maybe the smaller, but the kits, uh, if you doing the USPS route or even the UPS, uh, it, it's really expensive. So yeah, you better get ready to take that uh, to, you know, to take that damage to your wallet but i don't know for me it's just hard like i really hate paying for shipping and i know it's like okay it is what it is um, but i mean you're talking about like okay so if we're talking about 200 dollars kit and you're paying hundred thousand shipping that's just just doesn't make any sense i'm sorry that doesn't make any sense like you're paying basically for nothing i mean i know you for something 
But, you know, at the end of the day, you're not getting anything from the shipping. So, I don't know. Let's see. I feel like sometimes it's like, okay, if you missed out and it's like you missed out, just, you know, just accept it. Uh, you know, oh, well, you know. And then a lot of times, mm, you know, some things that are out of stock, they get do get re-released in the future. So maybe just... Uh, and I'm not going to go crazy for this and just going to kind of let it go. Yeah, like I wanted it. Yes, it's nice. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's time to let it go. <laughs> not to dwell on it too much. All right, what's going on? Got two of those in here. Okay, yeah, this one goes like that. Yeah. So now we're building our uh, deck anti-air anti air gun let's see how that's gonna come out with the little sausages actually the little sausage pieces in the back okay so I think I'm missing another piece am I no I'm not I'm good it's here Yeah, it's here. We're good. We're good. But I ask you, I want to ask you, I did, I did have a historical question I wanted to ask you guys. I don't know if you're into it or not. Because I was kind of thinking about it. And I also heard someone commenting this. And this is like World War II related. I'm just curious, but I mean, I'll ask it in a second. So just read some more chat. Uh, that u is going to look great with those TMC fixes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you like the TMC more than I guess you like Brickmania. I like I like both. I think the Brickmania and TMC going to look good. But then if I want to do a little expansion or some kind of mock build around it, I think it's going to look really great. Especially talking about the 251B. Uh, should be 251B, yeah. Are you going to display it, our use in the, in the mock? Are you going to display it? I'm going to initially display it as a, as what it is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a display because it has like a little you know black thing and name. But I think what I might do essentially, I have this base plate or my little do a little water, and I was thinking of doing a little dock or like a pier built, and you know I have some already this Creek Marine minifig, so I might use some of those guys. So I might do still kind of display, but just a little bit more of a kind of realistic display, not the. I don't have to explain. Like a display with a scenery. I like those kind of displays. When I do, like I did the, with the Tiger 131. So I did the Tiger and then I also did a little bit of mock diorama. I like those dioramas. Like, diorama is cool. Like, I, yeah, I can put it on a little black thing, put the name, plate on it. Yeah, it looks good. But I prefer when it's like a little scenery, scenery mock diorama. I person, that's just my thing. So I might do a little bit, some kind of scenery around this as well. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm I probably have to somehow modify this a little bit and get this out of this uh, black again, like this display base. Uh, but that shouldn't be too big of a problem. I probably can just still somehow take this off uh, and just put it on some kind of blue base plate or whatever, whatever water uh, representation I might, I might do. Uh, so here we go. We have a oh, soon working uh, machine gun. Hopefully. Wait, what am I doing wrong? Okay, yeah, this thing goes here. Like that. Alrighty. Here we go. Uh, my, uh, my wish list contains World War II German World War II tankers. <laughs> I mean, you and your fans that can manage, bro. You and your fans that can manage. I would, listen, and like, you don't have to even like in the sleep at night with my closed eyes in my dreams. I already, I would even know that Eli wants <laughs> fans to take. I, you mentioned this so many times already, but I, I hope your wish comes true. I hope at least then by, by Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. I hope at some point uh, TMC going to listen and hear you out. And they're going to hear your wish and they're going to release those Panzers or Panzer Commanders for you. Or uh, Angel Bricks or one of those guys. 
Yeah, Oscar, yes. Uh, that's one of the rules wish list. Yeah, exactly. That's 251. Uh, SDKZ 251 is one of the, one of the biggest ones I really want to get. So annoying when the brick mania figures retires, you can get made uh, by land and you have to do stock. Stock brick mania minifigures you know, on eBay and wait months, weeks for the uh, one to pop up. Actually, I saw, like right now, I was looking, someone in Europe, uh, I don't know, Italy or whatever, someone's selling uh, Battle of Kursk uh, Lando minifig. And that's that was a rare one. It doesn't have a box, which is very unfortunate, like a clamshell box, but it's on eBay and it's like $25 worth, for some reason, $25 shipping. Which makes this minifig 50 but this is quite a red minifig quite rare uh so there's yeah there's few that pop up the older uh, kind of lando minifigs that are still that do pop up on ebay and they are unfortunately kind of expensive in most cases yeah i hear you on that one i'll put some figures up soon yeah i do that are you going to do more snow related marks like one me yeah i just mentioned that too i was um uh, just like right before you came in I was talking about i'm still looking to do battle of narva although again i am not anymore like at my mom's my parents place which i have a lot of space to do this i'm still going to try and bring some parts and trying to work on this here so yes i am uh, planning on uh, to do winter mock uh, battle of narva and i actually have a lot of parts for them i did a pick a brick order uh, a while back the pick a brick order a while back and then uh, that arrived so i really have no excuse now not to do anything related to that mock so yeah definitely if i do a next mock uh, you are oh see i'm doing this correctly are you 100 percent correct here uh sniper productions is it is going to be a, a winter mock i'm playing uh wolfenstein for the first time which uh, is a first person shooter third time where yeah the wolfenstein oh man that's a, such a cool game just the concept of the game itself. They actually have Hitler in there. And they really make fun of him. So I know they have two parts for Wolfenstein. They have a first and second. And I do think the storyline is quite amazing. So whoever come up with that game storyline uh, did a really good job. So enjoy the game. I never played it. I heard of it, though. I heard a lot of good stuff about it. Okay, so here we go. We have our anti-air gun. That looks so good. Look at this. Got the, got the ammo ammo printed we got a little uh, actually uh, those like across cross whatever they are uh, aiming things it's the same one they use on the flag flag 36 i have I, i've seen this before on other builds so yeah so put that guy in here looks amazing should this be like next to the Black ball, yeah, maybe should be like that. All right, so that goes somehow, some way here. Yeah, all right, yeah, mm, kind of worked. All right, let's carry on. All right. Let's just continue with it. I think it just, yeah, I just have a few pieces left to make the rest of the railing. I think it's supposed to connect somehow there. And then I think I have to place it here. And should be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Das ist fantastisch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Spills goes on top. Okay, yeah. Ja, ja, Opa Sturmbannführer. Opa Sturmbannführer. Das ist fantastisch. We're trying to ask CMC. Um, I give up on it. <laughs> Stop mentioning it. Well, I mean, keep trying. Maybe they'll do it for you. Uh, it's a here soldier with a camel helmet on eBay. Sale. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, again, this is this bunch of older Brickmania fix are available. That meant to say there's a here soldier as well with a camel helmet. Nice. 
uh, do you plan with Battle of Narva Mark uh, to be like a uh, wilderness depiction of more village? I'm actually no. I'm just gonna stick it. Uh, keep it real simple. Uh, my plan was, and now I got some pieces. I'm I'm pl plan to do a little uh, like a trench. So be a little bit of trench, and it's gonna be on German side. It's gonna be in. There's a reason for that, and I actually have pictures of in the Estonian museum of that trench of battle. Anyways, so this is, this is a this is actually a historical picture. <laughs> it's a, well, it's like a it's in the museum. It's made up, obviously, but there's a display of that trench of Battle of Narva. So I'm, what I'm trying to do is replicate that trench, at least a section of it, and you know extend it. And the rest will be uh, all like snow cover on top. And of course, I'll try to put some trees. It's not going to be anything big because I don't have a lot of space. Uh, my goal is probably going to be like two base plates combined. Uh, my ideal uh, size would be like four base plates. But then I want to have any way to display it or no way to keep it because it's just going to take too much space. So I try to be realistic. So if I have two uh, base plates kind of, kind of put together, that's going to be enough space for me to kind of keep it somewhere or store it. Or display it, uh, and this is kind of what I'm gonna go for. So something, yeah, nothing too crazy, nothing too big. Um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. So let's see uh, if that's how that's gonna play out. That goes here. All right, very cool. Whoa, let's build another one. Uh, that's the that's the game plan at least for the for my in my in my head <laughs> this is again as, how it's gonna be I don't know but that's how I see it actually I messed this one up so this is supposed to be like that okay here we go yeah let's catch up with still more comments all right I gotta go guys nice talking yeah I like thanks for coming by and I appreciate you hanging out at least for the for the time being here Really appreciate it. And like, take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you later, man. Sick. Thanks. Uh, Insta. Yeah, yeah. I'll talk to you on Insta. And, you know, if you want to drop your link, because Eli is uh, selling his minifigs, you can drop it. I'll, I'll, you know, people can see it. Yeah, Hitler's still alive on Wolfenstein. It's made of the same company as Doom and very similar to Doom, except they're uh, killing them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's like Nazis. It's, so the whole Wolfenstein thing that it's like Nazis in the future, they conquered the United States or something. Um, they like winning the war or they won the war, and this guy is basically trying to. He's like an insurgency against the Hitler with uh, some other insurgents in the states. I mean, the idea is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool concept, and then there's a lot of action. That that also I know. Okay. Lots of interesting connections here on this build, especially with those uh, holes, holes, <laughs> hole pieces, holes pieces. <laughs> so she said, "No, just kidding." Just kidding. Oh, hold on. We got some machine gun issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, opestum banfur, yeah, man. All right, all right. Uh, I would buy kit often. Most of them were uh, 400 at max. Uh, I would I, I would buy kits often if most of them were 400 at max. Pull over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's what you I mean. Brickmania. I mean, there's still some decent kits for that for that price. I mean, you can still get a decent tank build for 400 from Brickmania. Not a big tank, of course, but then. That could happen. What's what's this pieces here? Like, um, is this more I need to build of something? Something? Yeah, there's more. A few more other things I need to build. Okay, cool. Because right, I was like, I have way too many extra pieces right now. Right, so I get to put those holes around. Around this thing. Okay. Imp a little more like that. Yeah. All right. I don't know. Looks okay, I think. 
a little bit of gap here happening. All right, I better not touch this. Just leave it as it is. Okay, yeah. So we got this one around. Now we're supposed to put that on top of this thing. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. What the heck? Oh, over here. Here we go. So that now that's this is attached. Yeah, almost there. Almost there, guys. Oh, oops. Almost here, guys. All the machine should stop. I know, I'm trying to I'll turn it. Someone, someone commented. I know, like, <laughs> there was a comment uh, on my. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah, was it some kind of comment not too long ago on my videos? It's like you buy all those German kits, you turn into be you turn into being German. It's like, yeah, well <laughs> I feel like I am turning to be into a German now. Yeah, yeah. Jawohl. So that's that's the case. We have a German brick fan, he's turned to American. So listen, someone gotta replace him, right? So somebody turns into American, another person turns into German. <laughs> No, I just like really German stuff. That's what it is. I just like German equipment, vehicles, and I feel like it's really cool stuff. Well, oh no, I try to catch up with this. Am I? Am I? Where am I at? Where am I at? I feel soon. I don't want to miss anybody. Anyone's comment? Hope they raise prices on kids so they stay rare and expensive. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I hope not <laughs> because then I can't afford them anymore. I mean, honestly, I already have like a bunch of stuff. So if, you know, to be really honest, I have a lot of Brickmania stuff. I really kind of want it and I already kind of have in my collection. Again, there's some things, like I said, someone, you know, I think was a will or somebody asked me if, what I have on my wish list. Yeah, there's some stuff I still have on my wish list, like SDKFZ, uh, maybe Stuk, Stuk also be like, yeah, but it's not like something is must have. Um, so even even at this point, if I stop collecting Brickmania, I have pretty much everything I wanted. I have all the Tigers. Uh, I have a lot of German tanks, modern stuff I want. I mean, I'm, I'm already pretty happy. So, yeah. I mean, again, I still hope Brickmania continues and releases all this cool stuff, which I really uh, enjoy, and I'll probably buy some more. Um, but, you know... I'm already pretty happy with to what I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, can I count? Yeah, seven. Okay. So why do I have extra one? Here. Am I supposed to have an extra one? I do have an extra one. Now I'm confused. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is going on? Anyways, yeah. So that goes. In here somewhere, okay. Okay, so this is supposed to be a ladder to climb. Climb the deck. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, yeah. This is good.
Ja, ja, das ist gut. Open Sturm Bamfur. Ah, oh, just like this. This is from the Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> I think. I don't know. From somewhere I got this. All right. And then last ladder right here. Yeah. Shoot. Shiza. Shiza. So I got one extra piece. I have no idea what's that all about, and I'm missing one piece. But then I think I'm not done yet until I put the flag on. So let's go ahead and put our non-Nazi kind of... Uh... It's weird that it goes inside like that. Okay, interesting. So we got our dumbed down non-Nazi. Because swastika is bad. Swastika is really, really bad. And then we don't get, and, I, and I get it. I get that Brickmania doesn't want to do swastikas. It's because um come on, come on, my man. We can't stand. Where is this? We're not even at the high seas yet. And you know, and I get that Brickmania doesn't want to do swastikas because I know some countries like Germany, for whatever reason. Uh well, we know the reason. <laughs> we pretty much know the reason. Uh, but I mean come on, how many years ago was that? Okay. But uh, I get it. And then Germans don't want to uh Basically, don't allow anything as swastika. So, of course, then that's going to be a problem uh, for, you know, Brookmania to sell stuff to Germany and maybe some other country in Europe. But either way, yeah, that's that's the build. Hold on a sec. I'll be right back. Yeah, boys, that's the build. I don't like this guy's cap. I'm gonna make him like a, I'll give him like a little, like a Lego sailor cappy. So I'll do that. I'll give him that. Put those guys up. I think I have like too many minifigs now. Too many sailors. I think that's kind of cool. Like I said, if I want to do a little like a diorama built around it, like a pier or something, like those guys carrying some kind of. Maybe carrying some kind of uh, materials to the to the to the U boat. I mean, I can do that. Oh, something fell. Wait, wait. Maybe that's the missing piece. Oh yeah, it is right here. Right here. So we did that. So the wait, Brickmania, no missing pieces. Never mind. Brickmania had it. I found it. Just fell on the floor. All right. So here we go. Everything is okay. All right, let's catch up with the comments really quick. Mm, the course sold on eBay International or Europe. I'm not sure you have to double check on that, but uh, the guy is in Italy. So I think it might be international because it's 25 euros. So I think at that point, you don't really care what you ship if you're charging that much money. So I'm pretty sure that's international. Drum roll, please. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ta-da! Yeah, yeah. Alarm, alarm, alarm. Boom. What was this? this a solar sound? Sonar. How the sonar sounds? Yo, yo, you messed up, Rulu. You have to start all over again. <laughs> no, man. This is this came out pretty good. Biggest fear when doing Lego if you have more than one extra part left. <laughs> <laughs> when is the next live? Okay, I actually caught up with those. It wasn't that many comments that I had to catch up with. I do have one extra piece left. It is a little freaky, but I'm thinking it's probably like I mean, just just looking at this, it's either this, so it's from either from this, whatever that like visual antenna slash I don't know what it is. Uh, that thing is then i would i would probably just put it there i think i mis uh, miscounted it could be that this is supposed to have like eight of those i just put seven but i'll double check just in case right now in the book but either way this is a small thing not big it's better to have extra pieces than having less pieces 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. Yeah, it's seven. So I don't know. It, it is supposed to be seven here, seven here. That's what I've counted. I don't know, unless my math is off and I should go back to school, which also could be the case. But that's what we got. So this one is built. Now, how do I feel about it? I really like it. I really like it. Again, I had some issues with this in the sense of in the sense of the price per piece is just terrible. Uh, exclusivity and how it looks, it's amazing. I love it. I like that one. I don't I don't regret at all. Uh, the prints look amazing. The kit looks great. Uh, the only thing for that, how much I paid and how much parts I got, this should be some uh, like this should be like extended. There should be some kind of like another big deck gun like anti-ship gun flag 36 or something something on top of this like for that money i paid i mean you, you having 700 pieces for 650 dollars bro you gotta like you gotta make give him more stuff you know what i'm saying you gotta give him more stuff and this is not happening here so that's unfortunate but you know again if you don't want it you don't like it, you don't buy it so this is kind of something on me i you know i've wanted it i feel like it's but i mean i as a display piece i think it looks amazing so that's all i gotta say about that so I, I like it. So, yeah, and this side as well. Um, yeah. Again, I wish I, this was maybe a little more accurate to the real thing. Like I get a little swastika ha happening. But, you know, we know Brickmania is now going to make swastikas. So can't really ask for that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. You guys like this thing? Uh, when is the next live stream? Well, now the question is, do you want me to build this now or you want me to build this next week? And that will then determine when is the next live stream. If I'll build this now, there's not going to be a live stream next week. Or maybe ever. No, I'm just kidding. There's going to be one at some point in the future. But I don't know when. Maybe when the tiger arrives. Tiger... Tiger one, a brick veteran tiger. But that's gonna be May, June. Oh shoot, that's meant. Oh Shiza, that's gonna be a long time. Yeah, yeah, man. It's gonna be a very long time. So uh yeah, let me know. If you want me to build this, uh there's gonna be no live stream next week. But if you want me to not build this now and save it for next live stream, I can do it, but this is gonna be like a 30 minute live stream. Just saying. It's gonna be really quick. Maybe an hour, because I talk a lot. If you have a life on Saturday, I always put them down on my schedule. Thanks, Will. I appreciate the support, man. You guys, you guys are amazing. I tell some of you guys are always following me, watching me, my stuff. Cook is in the house. Let me guess. No Champions League today. No game. <laughs> but good to see you, man. Appreciate you coming by and saying hi. I like it. Uh, uh, I like it. I would buy this up if they had other selections. Yeah, I mean, I just like the U-boats in general. And I was, not too long ago, I was uh, in this museum, uh, like water, watercraft, whatever. Basically, the port museum in Tallinn, in, in the city that I'm at. And they had Estonian submarine from the 30s. Uh, I think it was built in the 30s. It was in the 40s. Uh, serviced and whatever. It was active duty. And it's such a cool sub. Like, you, you actually can see the, the conning deck. You can go inside. You see the torpedoes and how people lived. It's really amazing. Like... Well, a feat of technology here in itself, but uh, just how people even survived in this thing and uh, went underwater and even did what they had to do, uh, you know, uh, with, their, with their military missions. Scary stuff, but really cool. And just from there, I was kind of fascinated. And then when this came out on Brickmania, I was like, I gotta have it. And I saw the price, and I was like, no, I'm not gonna have it. I'm gonna have a, a Kobe kit instead. But then I was like, okay, if this sells out and I. And then we're going to see this again. Am I going to be sad? Mm, and then I figure out that I will be sad and then I want to have it. So here we go. Something's happening here. This is not somehow too well aligned. I don't know what's going on here. Here we go. Something happened. But at least it feels like it snapped into the right place. Okay. Captain is down. Alarm. Blazing. Alle, alle Maschinen stop. 
here we go so we have this here i will probably do a quick overview tomorrow i'm not gonna spend too much time on this but definitely we'll go overview um on the prints and that kind of stuff so maybe expect a video on this um yeah so yeah tell me in the comments you want me to build this now or no yes or no let's do it next week okay next week next week spread it out bro prefer next week on oh, champions league but i'm uh but family party that's what i'm first first on i'm first on now <laughs> well enjoy the party man uh i'm gonna go now bye guys bye rule that was another cool stream thank you really i appreciate you coming by hanging out with me all right so if you guys want this next week i'll build it next week maybe you know what i'll do i might do it in the middle of the week let's see if i'm up for that uh i might not be up for that but let's see i'm thinking about it right now but um but this is maybe i'll spread it out maybe i spread it. you guys are really want me uh, every here saturday <laughs> i'll do it i'll do it next saturday as well for my boys for my for my upper storm bomb footers I'll, I'll do it guy i'll do it for you guys um i did have a question though maybe i'll ask next time because um i actually had this historical question about world war ii and about the blitz creek but you know what we're gonna do we're gonna if we're gonna do next live stream we have we need something to talk about maybe i'll try to remember that question for next live stream and i'm gonna ask it you guys can let me know but for now just keep it a mystery so then yeah tomorrow i will be doing overview for this guy i hope you liked two part live streams i did for this build again someone that i did on my own personal time but either way i hope you enjoyed them uh, fixing parts on brickmania kits are always more stressful than fixing parts on lego kits yeah and sometimes brickmania kits are usually pretty good i have normally I've been lucky enough. There are a few exceptions that I really got uh, crappy kits, but uh, for for most part, I got really good kits, and in that sense, they're not too fragile. So if I had to fix something, you know, it wasn't super bad. Uh, but there I had also some kits that were very fragile, and then those kits are long gone. I thankfully sold them. So those kits, if I don't like some kind of brick mini kit for build wise or just how fragile it is, or for some reason, I'm I'm gonna sell it. Not gonna lie to you, because I want to keep the stuff I really care for. I really enjoy. I enjoy this playing, and uh, this one doesn't have any any of those big issues. So this is definitely a solid. There's, I mean, there's a lot of big parts used here too, and it, it's fairly solid, solid build. So yeah, so well done on this one. Again, not a fan of price, but it is what it is. If you do uh, middle of the week on do Wednesday, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe I'll do a quick middle of the week build and even a review for this guy. Let's see. I can't do Tuesday or Thursday. Okay, maybe I'll do Wednesday. Let's see. Uh, you should do a joint live stream with Brick of Fit and Lego Mr. K. Yeah, I heard of those guys. Um, they can. I mean, I don't mind. Uh, Brick of Fit, uh, he's cool. I go to his channel and watch his stuff and comment on his videos once in a while. So if he wants to reach out to me and, you know, we can, we can I don't know if we're going to have like a difference in, in time schedule. Because he uh, he's based in the states, I'm based in Europe, so we might have like a different time. If it's not gonna work out for me, I cannot do it. Like I say, he's doing live stream. It's it's for me. It's nighttime. Like I'm supposed to be sleeping. Like that's not gonna happen. Uh, but you know, if it's something that I can do schedule wise, then why not? Let's see. All right. So everyone, thanks for coming by. I appreciate. It. I'm gonna end this now. I'm gonna we're gonna come back next week. So stay tuned. Come back next week for this build again. It's gonna be fairly quick, but we can hang out and chat. Uh, and this will be then either Wednesday or Saturday. Either way, keep an eye on my channel. Uh, thank you very much. Gracias, guten tag, jawohl. Thank you, thank you for for, for kind of uh, being patient. <laughs> in handling my nonsense <laughs> putting up with me in my nonsense i appreciate everyone for, for hanging out and, and coming to live streams you guys have a wonderful week me i live in the states and uh, and he does uh, his lives on thursday nights yeah but the thursday night is not going to work for me so because thursday night for him it's it's very nice for me so let's see maybe on the weekend or something but yeah let's see take care take care everyone Peace. Have a good week. Bye for now. Peace. Auf Wiedersehen.